Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my shoe collection. This video was requested by one of you guys and I figured I would go ahead and do it. I haven't gone through my shoes in a minute so this is going to be a chance for me to go through and figure out which ones I want to get rid of. Also wanted to mention I finally started posting on my Instagram which I will link down below. It'll be all of my good thrift finds or bargains that I find so go ahead and follow me down below. It's gonna be a really long video so I'm just gonna jump right into it. First pair of these boots literally had these boots since college. I started to wear them in the snow because they're high enough and I think they're waterproof. I've never had a problem with these, but um, I just wear them with leggings and they're easy to get on and off. I hate putting on snow boots. These are from the brand Mia. Oh, by the way, I'm a size seven and a half, but honestly, I can wear anything from a seven to an eight depending on the shoe. The next pair are my Sorrels or Sorrels. They're really, really dirty. I did not clean any of these beforehand. So I got them from Urban Outfitters and they're just snow boots. Next pair are my Doc Martens, which if you guys want to see a video of how I style these, give this a thumbs up. Um, I bought these from DSW. They were on some kind of sale, but these boots make me feel like such a badass. I love them. Okay, I guess we're doing a theme here and it's boots. So the next pair are these. These are my Lucky's boots. And I really like to wear these a lot with tights because they're low cut. They're not really comfortable because I actually bought these at the same time as the docks to get the discount. And these are in a six and a half and I'm not really a six and a half. I think one of my feet is and the other one's like a seven and a half. But the next pair of my Uggs, I literally just wear these to take my dogs out or if I have to like run an errand, like pick up a prescription or something. Not, not a whole lot to say about these. I wear these with like sweatpants or leggings whatever. So these are a pair of Chelsea boots that are kind of Western style from a brand called Office. Funny story about these, I actually bought these in London because my luggage got lost and I had only one pair of high heeled booties. Don't ask me why I wore high heeled booties through the airport. So I had to buy something that was comfortable and these are freaking amazing. And I really like to wear these with tights, leggings things like that. Next pair are these Chelsea boots from Steve Madden. I love these. I bought these before I got these. These are just a little bit more feminine. I feel a little bit masculine wearing these because of the shiny leather, but I usually wear these with tights. These are actually my second pair of these shoes. The first pair I bought, my dogs chewed up, so I had to get another pair. <sighs> I'm like out of breath because I had to go get the rest of them. This pair I'm actually going to be selling. I need to... There's like literally cobwebs on them. <laughs> That's how long it's been since I've worn these. But I bought these from Nordstrom Rack because I thought they were really cute. But they're actually not my size. My feet get really jammed in them. But I was going for like the sock boot look, but they're totally not a sock boot. But they're still really cute and they're actually pretty expensive. I think I paid like $60 and these are the Abound brand. So if you're interested in these, they'll be up on my Poshmark. This is another pair that I have up on my Poshmark. They're just Madden Girl booties. They're in really good shape. I didn't really wear these a whole lot. Another pair I'm gonna be getting rid of. I haven't worn these in like years. Again, they have like cobwebs on them. But these are Steve Madden boots. They're really cute. I just don't wear brown shoes a lot, which I think I'm starting to realize. Um, Cause I do wear a lot of tights and leggings and brown, in my opinion, does not look good on me with tights and whatnot. That is going in the cell pile. Another thing, I've actually had these on my Poshmark for a while, if you're interested. These are a pair of booties from Tom's. They're super cute and really, really comfortable. I love these. I just don't wear them anymore. This pair I need to get up on my Poshmark. They're from Topshop. Oh, there's a hair. They're from Topshop and they're just a pair of brown Chelsea boots. Um, I need to stop buying brown boots. These shoes were like my first real big shoe purchase ever. I bought these in college and they're my Steve Maddens. I feel like I don't want to get rid of these because they have a special place in my heart, but I don't really get a whole lot of use out of them. They're just brown combat boots. I think I'm going to keep these because I think they'll come back in style one day, but I might sell them. I don't know. I only whipped out one pair of these because they're heavy, but these are my Hunter Wellies. They're the rain boots and they're cute. I just wish I didn't buy them in this color. I bought these in college when mint green was like all the rage and I just, I wish I had these in black because 
eh, and like the shorter because when I wear these, I, my legs get really sweaty. It feels like I'm wearing like a second layer of skin and it's kind of gross. Okay, so these are the very last pair. These are a pair of Lucky's black booties. I think I might sell these. These were the boots that I was wearing when my luggage got lost in London, so I wanted to buy something lower. Um, they're really, really comfortable and I like them because on one side they have like a dip and then the other side zips up, so they're really easy to get on and off. I just haven't worn these at all this year because I just wear the lower ones instead, but I don't know, they're kind of a classic. That was a lot of freaking boots. I have a problem, no more boots for me. Going on to my slip-on shoes, I have these. These are Uggs actually, and they're like my slide-ons. I like to wear these thrifting because or shopping because they're so easy to get on and off, but they're really narrow and they hurt my feet. I have the same pair in brown from Keds, similar style, not, not the same pair, but I have gotten so many compliments on these and I feel like these look like ugly nurse shoes, but everybody loves them. I mean, I don't know why, they're kind of cool. I guess these are the Nikes that I do wear. As you can tell, they're pretty beat up. These are like one of my most expensive shoes and I don't even go to the gym very often, like the gym gym. Brown Birkenstocks, classic. Everybody needs these in their life. We have more high heels. We've got these leopard print heels from Lulu's, which I absolutely adore. I haven't had the chance to wear them too many times, but they're from Naturalizer. They're just really strappy and super comfortable. Like I could wear these all day long, sitting, standing. They're really comfy. These are probably my most worn work shoe for the summertime before I got those naturalizer sandals. These are from Clark's and they look kind of funny, but they're so comfortable. I highly recommend getting a pair of these if you work in an office. I love them. You guys have definitely seen these a lot in my videos. They're my Reeboks. Vintage Club C's. These are probably like the trendiest shoes I own besides the Doc Martens. I absolutely adore these. They're so comfortable and usually I can't find a sneaker that I love because I think they look so weird on me, but these are like the perfect white sneaker. And I like that they're a little cream color so that they're not like, too perfect. Okay, keeping up with the sneaker theme, these are Adidas Gazelles. And these were like the first pair of trendy sneakers that I purchased. I, I never wear these. Like look at how clean the bottom is. They're just... They just make my foot look weird because they're so long in the toe that I don't love them. I think I'm gonna post these on my Poshmark. I love them, I just love looking at them, but that doesn't really do me any good. So I think I'm gonna post these. These were like a pair of shoes that I bought right after college because I thought you were supposed to have high heels and I never ever wear them. I think I've worn them like twice. They're in really pretty good shape. These are up on my Poshmark already if you're interested. They're by Candies and I got them from Kohl's. A pair of high heels from BC. They're really, really cute and really comfortable. I haven't worn them in a really long time, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell these. I wore these to a couple of holiday parties and I really love them, but I don't wear them, so <laughs> they're gonna go up on my Poshmark. All themes have gone out the window because I just have too many pairs to start organizing. These are probably my most worn shoes. They're a pair of slide on loafers. I bought these from Lulu's and I literally wear these with anything and everything. Skirts, jeans, dresses. They're perfect, I love them. I should really probably buy a second pair before they stop selling them. I bought these last summer in Turkey. I wish I bought them in black too, but they're just a pair of crisscross brown sandals. They go with every outfit. I bought these shoes from Target. Um, again, they go with everything, jeans, dresses, skirts, and they're just really easy to get on and off, which I'm all about. I hate lacing things up. I have a pair of black Birkenstocks that could probably be replaced. They're like really messed up, but they're supposed to last forever and they're just so beat up. But I wear these all the time in the summer, all the time. These, I think I should throw these out. What do you guys think? They're like pretty filthy. <laughs> And I haven't even worn them that many times. Like if you look at the bottom, they're not that bad, but they're a pair of Lulu's pointed flats. They're just not in the best shape. I think I got these for like $10 or something, but still they did not last as long as I would like. These are up on my Poshmark. They're just a pair of lace toms. I just don't really wear these anymore. These shoes, classic Keens for hiking. They're like, ew, they're like really muddy right now because I just went hiking in them. So I won't, won't hold that up too long. These are a pair of Meadwell flats. They're really, really cute, but they cut into my foot after a while, so I can't wear them too long. But I wore these a lot when I was in the office because they still look professional, but they're really comfortable. Here is another pair of Meadwell heels. The bottom of these shoes just like popped right off. Seriously, they popped off after the first time I wore them in an office setting. Like, look at how clean these are. 
I've barely worn them and the bottom should not be popping off already, so whatever. These are just a pair of sandals from Topshop. These shoes I bought on Poshmark because I saw Monica Church styled a outfit with them. They're from Urban Outfitters, or that's the original brand, and I just never wear these. Like, I don't get very good use out of them because they're not super comfortable. The heel is just way too high, but we'll see. Maybe I'll get some use out of it this year. Oh god, you guys were so close. These shoes are from Aldo. They are the perfect office shoe. I got these from DSW for like $20 and I wore these like almost every single day to the point where my coworkers actually made fun of me because they're like, do you own any other shoes? And I was like, not really, <laughs> just kidding. Maybe I'll send them the link to this video. <laughs> these are a pair of Nikes and God knows where the laces are. I think I'm gonna put these up on my Poshmark. I've only ever worn these inside of a gym, but they don't have laces like where did the laces go i don't i don't even know but dear god you guys i thought i was almost done but then i went in my closet and <laughs> there's more all right let's get back into it i have these tiva sandals super comfy great for travel these keds i wear these all the time i love them they go great with pretty much anything i have these vans that are velcro and i get a lot of shit for these but i really like these they're great for pretty much anything. Jeans, walking your dogs, wearing them with leggings to the gym, like to the gym if you're doing yoga or whatever. These, I don't really get a whole lot of wear out of these. I originally had these in black. The strap broke after like one time of wear and I had to go return them. And the only color that they had was yellow. I love these shoes. I wear these all the time. I used to wear these a lot in the office. They're really, really comfy and really cute for just like, if you wanna elevate a regular jeans and t-shirt outfit. These shoes, I'm gonna put up on my Poshmark. This is another one of those things that I bought because of YouTube. I saw Aspen Ovard wearing these shoes and I just don't wear shoes like this, but I thought they looked so cute the way she styled them. They're just not really comfortable. You guys, these are my party shoes. <laughs> They're so, so comfortable. I got these from Target and I'm not ever getting rid of these because I just love them so, so much. These are up on my Poshmark. I ordered these on Amazon for work, but they don't fit me and I just never return them. So these are really cute. They're from Aldo. And if you're interested, they will be up on my Poshmark. Here is another pair that I already have on Poshmark. I wore these to my college graduation and they're just really cute, very tall. I've only ever worn these twice. Oh, I actually also wore these to an awards event for work. Um, when we went to the Dominican. And they're really cute, but I would just, I have no reason to wear shoes that are this high. I have had these since college. I've had them for a couple years now and I could never really find a good way to style these, but recently I've been getting more use out of them. They're really cute and like retro and they're from Steve Madden. If you guys watched my videos, you would have seen these in the last video I posted. These are from The Bins, but they're Target brand. They're so close. I bought before I traveled to Japan because I wanted a good walking shoe. They're Timberland sandals, which like, who even knew that Timberland made sandals? I sure as hell didn't, but they just look like this and they are insanely comfortable. So if you guys are gonna be traveling this summer and you need a good walking shoe, these are absolutely perfect. Another shoe that are already up on my Poshmark, they are just a pair of flats that I never, I bought and I never wore. They're from Etienne Aigner. And let me clarify, I bought these used, so that's why they look worn, but these are a pair of high heels from Lulu's. They go great with literally any outfit. They're my all-time favorite heel that's not too high. A pair of super cute classic heels. I'm not going to get rid of these because I wear them all the time. Again, because I have cankles, the ankle strap helps to like hide that a little bit, so Pro tip, if you have cankles, get something with an ankle strap. Last pair, and I can't even find the other one to it. <laughs> These were my party shoes in college. They're a pair of Steve Madden boots, and I still get compliments when I wear these, but like, look at how worn down the heel is. Like, there's pretty much nothing left on there. I don't know where the other pair is, but there you have it. Oh my God, you guys, that is my shoe collection. Let me, let me just show you what we have going on here. These are all of my shoes. Nobody should have this many pairs of shoes. This is a problem. This is my get rid of pile, except for these, I'm keeping these. Get rid of pile, <laughs> keep pile. Can't believe I have to go put all these back now. Like, I'm shook. This is terrible. 